Hi, welcome to our technical video series on how to build custom decentralized applications with the Horizon Sidechain technology. We call it Zendu. This is the second episode of this video series. In the last episode, we provided an overview of the Horizon Sidechain SDK and the five macro element groups you need to develop in order to build your blockchain application with custom logic and data. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the first macro element group, boxes, box data, propositions, and proofs. We will continue to use our demo app, Lambo Registry, as an example. A box is one of the most important elements of the sidechain system. It is a container for holding box data, such as an amount of Zen or information of a specific object, like a car's attributes, as we will see in our Lambo Registry example. The box data is associated with conditions called propositions. A proposition protects Zen or other data from being spent by anybody other than a party or parties that is able to satisfy that proposition. Usually, the ability to satisfy a proposition is given by the knowledge of data called a secret. A secret can be used to produce a proof that satisfies the proposition and opens the box so that box can be spent. If we translate that into Bitcoin-like terminology, a UTXO is a box. A locking script of an output is a proposition. A P to PK unlocking script with the signature is the proof, and its associated private key is the secret. Let's take a look at the box-related class hierarchy. The base interface is the box itself. Every box has a value and a proposition, but can be extended with any kind of custom data. The meaning of the term value depends on what entity we want to tokenize with that specific kind of box. For example, the value of a regular box, which in Bitcoin-like terminology is P2PKH UTXO, is the amount of Zen controlled by the box. In our demo app, Lambo Registry, the car box value is always equal to 1, because each car box represents a single car. There is also a batch of serialization related methods, bytes, serializer, and box type ID, but object serialization is going to be a topic for another video. Every box should have a unique ID, which is deterministically assigned using box data as the input. Since we may have several boxes locked by the same proposition and representing the same data inside, we can avoid conflicts by using nonst box, which inherits the box and contains nonce data. The nonce is a value that is deterministically assigned to the box depending on the transaction that includes it and the index of the box inside the transaction outputs list. This way we can guarantee that two boxes with the same data, proposition, amount, and other custom fields, will have different nonces, so they will have different unique box IDs. On top of the nonced box interface, we introduce the abstract nonced box class. It is the base class that is allowed to be extended by sidechain developers. In this class, we defined another layer of abstraction, nonced box data to make it easier for sidechain developers to introduce custom data. Simply put, box data is all box info except the nonce. The interface of nonced box data is very similar to that of the nonced box. The method custom fields hash returns the hash of custom box specific information, which is necessary to ensure the immutability of custom box data, so the security of the whole system. Let's go back to the abstract nonced box class ID method. The ID is calculated based on the value, proposition, nonce, custom fields hash, and coin specific flag. The coins box interface is a kind of marker which identifies that a particular box contains Zen, for example, a regular box. In other cases, if a custom box class doesn't implement a coins box interface, then it contains non-coin tokens, for example, a car token. In the sidechain state, we validate all coins box balances for every transaction. So the amount of coins boxes inputs is equal to the amount of coins box outputs plus a transaction fee. Let's now switch to the Lambo registry app example to see how to define custom box and box data. We introduced the car box class in this demo application to tokenize cars. The car box is inherited from abstract nonced box and is parameterized by car box data and public key 25519 proposition. It can be opened only by providing the proof of box ownership. 
Propositions will be described more precisely in the next part of the video. Because the common logic is defined in abstract nonce box, in CarBox, we have just defined its custom methods to retrieve car info. Vehicle identification number, VIN, the production year, the model, and color. The data itself is defined in CarBox data. The CarBox data class is extended from abstract nonce box data correspondingly. Because we have added new fields to the data class, they should be mentioned during the custom fields hash calculation. All semantic validity checks for custom fields can be put inside CarBox data as well. For example, the vehicle identification number length check. So we have easily introduced a CarBox token. Considering what was said, we may conclude that a box is like a container for specific information. The owner should set their specific proposition to protect this from being opened by a third party. The proposition interface is a very generalized concept. As we can see, there are no custom methods except serialization. This means that sidechain developers can introduce completely different rules for their custom boxes. On top of the proposition, we define the proof of knowledge proposition interface that is templated by a secret. Suppose that this particular proposition can be satisfied by providing the proof of knowledge, or in other words, proof of ownership of the secret data. In the sidechain SDK core, we implemented the public key 25519 proposition that contains the Edvard curve 25519 public key as a locker. The box with this proposition can be opened only by providing the proof of knowledge of the private key related to the public one defined in that box. The public key 25519 proposition constructor takes the public key bytes representation as an argument and has a getter method for it. The rest of the methods need to be able to serialize and compare the instances of this class. Let's switch to the proof interfaces to see what we need to implement to be able to unlock the box with public key 25519 proposition. The proof concept is generalized as well. It defines an is valid method that takes two parameters, the proposition to be unlocked and the message, which is actually a locking context. On top of this, we defined the proof of knowledge whose purpose is to provide a proof of knowledge of a secret with a specific type. We can use an elliptic curve digital signature algorithm to prove the knowledge of a private key for public key 25519 proposition. The isValid method will check the signature against the specific message and public key of public key 25519 proposition. The whole process of propositions and proofs usage can be explained with the following example. User A sends Zen or other tokens to user B and specifies in the corresponding transaction output box the public key 25519 proposition that it belongs to user B. Later, when user B decides to spend that box, they'll make a signature using the private key for the message which is actually a transaction data and will put that signature as a proof for the box inside that transaction. No one except user B will be able to provide a valid proof for the box without knowledge of the secret. Another example of custom propositions and proofs is present in the Lambo registry application. By following the business logic, the owner of the car box may decide to sell the car to a specific buyer. The owner will spend the car box and will create a car sell order box that can be opened in two cases. If the owner changed his mind about selling the car, or if the buyer purchases the car by accepting the sell order. To satisfy these rules, we define the sell order proposition that contains two public keys, the owners and the buyers. The corresponding proof class, sell order spending proof, consists of two elements, a signature proof and a flag to specify who opened the box, the seller or the buyer. Inside the isValid method, we see that depending on flag value, the signature will be verified against the owner's public key or the buyer's public key. The car sell order box itself is templated by sell order proposition, so it can be locked only by such a kind of proposition and unlocked by sell order spending proof. So, if the malicious actor decides to open car sell order box, the proof will be invalid and the operation will be rejected. That's all for today. In this video, we were able to see the internal structure of boxes, proofs, propositions, the hierarchy of classes, 
the SDK out-of-the-box solutions, and external examples of how to extend the core logic. Information can be found in the Sidechain SDK and Lambo Registry GitHub repos and in our document web portal, docs.horizon.io. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.